One of the issues that confronts the Muslim community in Canada is the unspoken, undiscussed, in whispers, people edging each around, not being able to address the question, let alone the answer, is that of homosexuality and the rights of LGBTQ people and what should be a reaction to them. Because it is quite clear that under Islamic law, Sharia law, which is applicable wherever it is applicable, gays and lesbians have to die. There is no question. It's not in the Quran, mind you. Let me tell you. There are references denouncing this, but the punishment comes from the Hadith literature. Now, Hadith literature is written uh, at least a hundred years after the Prophet of Islam had died. But there are countless homosexuals who are killed. A gay Muslim in an Islamic country will automatically be considered worthy of whipping, being stoned, being hanged to death. And that's not new. That's been happening ever since Islamic law was established as it what it is by the Umayyad Caliphate in Damascus. So on October 9th, while visiting downtown, uh, most of if you are from Toronto, you know that at Eaton Center for about a few decades now, there's always a booth over there of Muslims who are distributing the Quran and Islamic literature. It's called the Dawa booth, which means invitation to Islam the booth where you can invite people to enter Islam. And this is where some of the books that have been distributed have been quite blatant in what they consider the punishment uh, to homosexuality. But right next to it were pictures displayed by um, statements, depicting statements of one of the Imams, Mr. Khattab, from the Canadian Council of Imams, sort of accommodating gays and lesbians. And a lot of people started collecting over there. Has Islam changed? Did Islam, uh, Islamic law change? Or was this under some sort of a accommodation to get some government funding or, or to appear more appeasing to the LGBT community? Because with the last time gay pride parade took place, there were uh, I would say radical Muslims who consider gays uh, and, and lesbians as abhorrent were they wearing pride, uh, Muslim pride uh, on their shirts. And uh, many of our friends in the LGBT community get swayed with the love and affection they think they are getting, not knowing that a lot of this is just sheer drama. But could it be possible? that Mr. Khattab, there was the Imam was somewhere in Mississauga who was the spokesman for the Canadian Council of Imams, has changed his view or changed the laws that govern Islam that now he says there is no problem if people were uh, doing what they have to do. One of his earlier quotes was, for me someone who is homosexual is like someone who has diabetes or someone who has cancer or AIDS, he said, noting he doesn't like to be associated with gay people. Now the same gentleman has these pictures over there saying, members from the LGBT are welcome at my mosque. I have connected with the LGBTQ2S people. So what has changed here? The tactics to get involved in the mainstream community and look uh, and appear as reasonable to deceive them or I ho hopefully the law has changed and when asked around you never get a clear um, uh, answer as to uh, you know has something changed in the law? does it require changing and that bothers me for simple one reason, that either we have become very acceptable and Prime Minister um, 
Justin Trudeau too has said that in this country a new sort of, he has hinted that a new Islam will emerge and all the mullahs around major politicians, they too gather around and despite being uh, supportive of polygamy, despite being uh, believing uh, in the death of gays for simply being gays, uh, they find access right to the top. At some stage we have to come clean as to what exactly we are, where we stand on certain issues and what do we think about this nation. Do we accept the Western civilization as its foundation or do we dream of implementing uh, Islamic Sharia law in Canada or even the United States. But if we have changed our position on homosexuality could the entire council of Imams come up with Mr. Khattab and say, yes, what he's saying is correct? That's the thought that bothers me and the optimist in me thinks that I would live to see the day when this would happen. But then I'm a Muslim myself and I don't raise my hopes too much. Thank you.